Hello, this is Bryn Antrim, one of the librarians here at Santa Monica College. Today we're going to do a database video tour of the Nursing Resources Database. In order to get there from the College homepage, click on Menu, scroll down to the plus sign next to Student Support, and click on Library between Counseling and Tutoring. Once there, you can ask us a question at any time. When you use Ask a Librarian, you'll be talking to a college or university librarian, either from Santa Monica College or from one of the colleges or universities in the International Consortium to which we belong. Whichever way, you will talk to a librarian 24-7. Today, however, we're going to look at a specific database. So scrolling down in the library homepage, notice that Ask a Librarian is also available here at all times. In order to get into the nursing database, click on the databases button. And as you scroll down, you'll notice we have a listing of all databases, which is everything we subscribe to alphabetically by title with a short description of what's in each database. Databases that are primarily ebooks, and then it's broken down by topic. Today we're going into health sciences resources. And nursing resources is the first one listed. This is specifically for our nursing and allied health students. If you have not yet logged on when you go into a database, it will require you to do so. Use your Canvas logon. Once there, this interface may look familiar because it's published by EBSCO that publishes many of our databases. However, it has some resources that are unique to it. It has subject headings that are specific to medicine, it has two different databases that it searches at the same time, Sinol Plus and the academic version of the Health Source Nursing Database. It has images, if you're looking for a specific image, for example, of a medical condition. And it has evidence-based care sheets, and I'm going to show you that to begin with. When you go into the care sheets, you can browse or you can do specific searches. This does not have care sheets for every single medical condition out there, but it has many. So I'm going to pick one. Um, breast cancer in women, the effect on the family. When you click on that and you click search, it will go through the database, find that care sheet and bring it up. When you click on it, it has the information about the care sheet and subjects that you can click on to research the database about them. It will gather everything on that particular topic. The actual care sheet is over here in a PDF full text. When you are at this care sheet, you have the option to add it to your Google Drive, print it, email it to yourself. So to email it, you tell it where to send it. Give it a subject, <laughs> spell it right, do not send in plain text format. If you need a citation for some reason, you can let them know. We do have the AMA subject or citation format available to you and send that off. After the confirmation, it will take you back to where you were. In the detailed record, all of this information will be in your email and the PDF of the sheet will be attached to the email. Now from here, if I'm just doing a search on breast cancer, I can tell it that and it will give me options. Are you looking at screening? Are you looking at the various terminology for breast cancer? Are you looking at treatment, patients, preventers, et prevention, etc.? So I'm just going to go with the general topic of breast cancer to show you how to limit your search down because you get 127,000 plus articles, which is way too many. So over here on the left hand side, you can refine your research or limit it to those things that you want. First of all, you want full text articles. So you get the actual article, not just information about it. That takes it down considerably. Then, you might want to make sure that you get peer-reviewed journals. 
Most things in this database are peer reviewed, so that doesn't take it down very much, but it does get rid of things that are newsletters, for example. Then you'll want about the last five years, unless you're doing an historical essay. So we scroll over to the last five years of publication. That cuts it down even more. We've now cut out 90% of our original results. But that's still a few too many. So the first thing that I'm going to do down here is I can tell it I'm not looking for CEUs. I'm not looking for journals that aren't necessarily academic. Um, so I want academic journals. Sometimes those numbers are different. Then I can head down here. I want to continue my search in both of these databases because I want to make sure that I get um, articles that may be included in either one of them. But I want to limit it by subject. And subjects are standardized language that has been created by professionals in the field. And the librarians then, medical librarians, then attach these subject headings to specific articles. They say, this article is mainly about this topic. And this topic is standardized into breast neoplasms, for example. So anything with that topic is going to have that same subject term. So it's a way to limit your search and keep it on track. Perhaps what I'm really interested in is the cancer patients. That cuts it down considerably. And then, so as you can see, I've gone from 127,000 to 405 in about five steps. I still want to cut it down a little bit further. Maybe what I want to look at is I want to look at their quality of life. So in six steps, I've gone from 127,000 plus to 46. Now I can take a look at a very focused selection of results and find the ones that look interesting to me. So this might be quite interesting. I was looking at family and how that interacts with that. This is in the International Journal of Community-Based Nursing and Midwifery from 2019. It's a nine-page article. It is a research article that includes tables and charts. And here are the subjects that it's about. Cancer patients, psychosocial support, caregivers, psychosocial factors, quality of life, etc. So this looks interesting. I might want to take a look at it. I click on the title. And just like with the sheets, it will give me all of the information I need for my citation. It will also tell me the affiliation of the authors. Always a good idea to know the authority of the people behind the work. It will give me subjects that I can click on and research the database for all, top, uh, all articles on that topic. And it will give me minor subjects or secondary topics. Then it will give me an abstract, which is the author supplied summary of what this research study covered. And I can read through that abstract. If it looks good, I can send it to myself. If it doesn't look appropriate, I can skip it and go to another article. Again, the actual article is attached in a PDF. And from here, I have the option to add it to my Google Drive, add it to a folder, print it, email it, and cite it. So if I'm using this for an essay in a class or a report in a class, I can ask it to help me with my citation. I can then copy and paste this into my references and then fix it based on the citation guidelines given to you by your instructor because oftentimes the database will miss things like spacing or font, etc. So you want to make sure that it's correct before you turn it in. If I want to email it, once again, I can do that from here, just like I did with the care sheet. After I've sent myself my article, I can go back to my result list where I can take a look at another article or even go up here and change any of my limiters or add or change my subject terms. If you have any questions at any time during your search, you can use the Ask a Librarian chat without ever leaving the database, so you don't have to leave your search. You can ask questions based on whatever problems you're having in your search and then apply the answers directly to your search without ever leaving the database. I wish you the best in your research. Be well.